Oh, hey, buddy. Have you ever thought about getting a penis enlargement? Well, for the low, low cost of £3.99, $49.99 US, and £7,821,000 Zimbabwe, I'll cut your dick off myself. Oh, hey, guys. Sorry, I was pitching for another video. It's me, Isara Productions, and we're back in Hearts of Iron 4 for some terrible mod reviews. And if there's a place that I haven't played much in Hearts of Iron 4, not including South America, which is just a desolate pit of I'm never going going to play there, there is one place I really haven't played that much in, which is Scandinavia. And thankfully there was a mod at the top of the workshop today which gives Sweden a focus tree and a bunch of events. I know! Sweden apparently deserves one of those. First off though, this whole blue colour scheme, it's just not doing it for me. Now that's a Sweden I can get behind, a nice pink one. Oh, that's not really pink though, is it? That's kind of left the red sock in the wash pink, yeah. Well, I have to hand it to whoever made this focus tree. You have a little bit too much free time on your hand to dedicate this much time to a country that did not even participate in World War II. Uh, except, except that time that we were actually helping the Germans the whole time through, you know, with selling them iron and stuff like that. But we don't want anybody to know that we were secretly Nazis in the past, um, although PewDiePie is kind of ruining that for us at the moment, so we can PewDiePie, shh. Oh boy, I don't feel like doing much this time round. I think I'll be neutral. No! Why be neutral when you can wear one of those pointy Viking helmets, get some rotten fish and throw it at your best friend Denmark? So I was going to go ahead and go communist this time round, and there is actually two different ways to go communist in this game, uh, but I, I feel like... All of the reasons to go communist are terrible when you could just, you know, get 9% recruitment population if you go fascist. I mean, <laughs> I need people to, you know, go into the meat grinder. I don't need people to talk about their feelings game. God. Oh, God damn it. PewDiePie's returned to Sweden and he's turned us into this. Us. Oh, to be fair, that could be PewDiePie. Oh no, the king woke up after like five years of sleeping and realized, how the hell did we let this crazy YouTuber in charge of our country? He just dropped the end bomb on stream, you can't do that. Oh, uh, whoops, I sided the wrong way with the king and now I can't get my 9% recruitment population. Well guys, we're gonna have to have a nice talk with the enemy instead, god damn it. Oh, uh, hey Denmark, I was gonna invade you, but would you just, you know, give me all your land for free? Because look at this standoff we have militarily. It's 11 Swedish guys armed with rotten fish and a horse. The horse is called Gustav. He's our king. Apparently the Danes aren't taking us seriously because we crowned our horse king. So we're gonna have to just have a nice long chat militarily, aren't we? Oh, well, that's a big surprise. I thought you were dead, Jeff Boyardee. Oh, wait, no, this is a prequel. It's 1937. Those bastard Danes stole my horse. Give him back. How are we supposed to lead the country without a king? Danske jävle. Damn it, those Danish bastards executed the king just when we were about to take them over. So can we have a moment of silence for Gustav, King of Sweden, and also King of being a horse. Now, no way you're about to make the same mistake, Denmark. Oh, apparently not. Apparently, talking does get you places. If only Gustav the horse could have talked. Well, this is going to open a big old can if the Soviets are eventually going to invade me. But hey, what else am I going to fucking do? Oh, fit the avle, shabel till Moskva. No, short and hot till Helsinki. Uh, the Winter War. No, that was actually quite hot, quite humid. And I'm going to say I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit hot and bothered by all these Soviets on my border. Welcome to the Kalmar Union. If you didn't know, it was a union between Denmark, Norway and Sweden, where we all got together and ate rotten fish. Except for Denmark, who thinks they're too good for rotten to fish. Oh, cool. We have have a option in our focus tree down here to create the anti-red alliance and invite Romania. Yep, I think Hitler was confused when he was introduced to a horse and it was told that this was the leader of the Kalmar Union. I would be. Well, Hitler having enough of the world after being introduced to a horse that's leading a country, he said, fuck it, I don't want to live in this gay earth anymore and is about to commit seppuku over the next five years. Well, I gotta hand it to Germany in this game. It's 1939 in November. They've already taken out France and the Benelux. Nice. And Chef Boyardee's in on it too. It's gonna be unstoppable. Oh, great people of Sweden, Norway and Denmark. We knew this day would come. Oh yeah, we uh, we invited Hungary and Romania to our fight. 
Well, you guys are dead. You, you, you guys are fucking rest in pieces. Oh, uh, hey, Germany. We're not the bad guys, but we will continue to fund you to do all the bad things that you're doing. And uh, we'll probably say sorry for it in like the next couple years after, you know, we've earned all the money. I'm sorry, Hungary, but joining a country that has a horse leading it, you really should have seen this coming. Good news is that the Soviets have lost almost a million men and we've lost 305, albeit I'm not entirely sure if those casualties are made by us or, you know, all the dead Hungarians and Romanians. Well, we've kicked it up to a million flat and I think it's time we start pushing back the Soviets as the Germans are about to declare war on them, or at least I hope so, and, you know, hopefully we, we can just work together in defeating the Soviets. Fighting the Soviets isn't actually much of a war, it's just how many can you get in a big group, surround them and punch them to death with your soggy smelly fish. Unfortunately for us though, we've pushed them back quite far, but Germany's just... They're, they've gained too much knowledge, they know they keep fucking up and losing every campaign, they're refusing to start another war. God damn it Hitler, since when were you smart? Oh, thank god, I thought we were about to have some sort of Skynet situation going on here. I was about to, you know, go with Terminator 2 and shut it down. Oh, poor Chef Boyardee, you already got fucked to death once he's getting fucked to death twice. I'm sorry, Mr. Boyardee. Guys, I'm really sorry we funded the German war effort, alright? But we're gonna, we're gonna have a chat with them. And we're gonna make them calm down with a nice chat. I don't think Blue's intimidating enough. We need to go... Indigo. Germany, we've had enough, all right? You're just such a warmonger. You need to stop. And, uh, will you listen to me? Apparently, Germany was not impressed when our King Horse went into their main parliament and took a massive dump. Yeah, we're still working on teaching him how to be a good diplomat. Oh, would you look at that? Romania's back from the depths of hell and it's, uh, it's full of Axis forces of all different fucking types. I'm sorry, Romania. Hit a bit of a stalemate over here on the front line, but don't worry. We, we in Sweden just figured out something called a tank. And we're, we're bringing it to the front lines to take it directly to Mr. Stalin's Fucking asshole, all right? Fuck you. I see Stalin has gone ahead and garrisoned Moscow with the finest horse and four men. Yeah, that's how it went in real life. Well, Moscow has fallen and we're, we're still pushing because I don't think Stalin, by the looks of things, is ever gonna fucking capitulate. Good news is, with my light tanks, I can just manoeuvre around all of his lines as he just appears to have mostly infantry and we are pushing quite far into his anus. Uh, Romania's disappeared and all of Europe looks like... Well, it, it looks like a big old mess, Mr. Boyardee, shut out. Ain't nothing like surrounding some Soviets, am I right, guys? Because that's what I've been doing for like the past hour, and they still just, they aren't ever gonna give up. At this point, I'm pretty sure Stalin is living in a shack in the middle of Siberia, saying to himself, Hey, we won't give up. Look how good we're doing. We'll never give up. What? They just encircled the majority of the rest of our army? No, we don't want to give up. Why would we give up living in Siberia's ace? Stalin is apparently never going to give up. He's living in his capital over here, a curse, which, you know, compromises of him, like five guys and his shack. And he's like... Why would we give up? We've only lost seven million. Well, after bulldozing his shack, Stalin finally gave up and we are... Well, we we have some land, guys. Well, there's the Soviets done and dusted with, and I went ahead and gave Tanituva all of this land over here. So when I go toward Germany, spoilers, they won't they won't be able to push through because I'm not going to call them in and thus. Oh, game-breaking mechanics. Oh, we have the option of expanding our alliance of Romanians, Hungarians, and now Turkish people, and aren't we an ethnic but Well, the birth of New Zealand are- No, that's not what I wanted to point out. I actually wanted to point out the fact that fuck you, Hitler. You've made fun of my horse king for far too long. I think it's time I take you round back of the shed and shoot you. Oh, that, that was a horse pun. I didn't even mean to do that. The AI has decided to land like 60, 70 divisions over here in the Balkans, to which they have no supply now because Turkey's in the war. Congrats AI, you retard. Poor Chef Boyardee, as if it wasn't bad dying once, you've gone ahead and you've died twice in the past. Wait, is this going to create some sort of time paradox where Chef Boyardee didn't actually die and there'll be another Sims episode? Who knows? Well, there's the Germans done and dusted with, and whilst there are a few cancerous tumours left over, from mostly Spanish divisions, all we need to do now is capitulate Spain and Japan, which is, uh... Isn't that going to be a fun one? 
Oh wait, never mind. Apparently the fucking Indians and the British are beating us to it. Is this really where we've come to that Japan's losing to the fucking Indians? Just like the race to Berlin, we have the race to Tokyo between New Zealand and Sweden. I win! Well, there you go. There's that game all done and dusted with. And it was a it was a pretty interesting one with another once again overpowered mod that just makes everyone's favourite country, insert your favourite country here, really powerful. We did it. We we did something, all right? It was pretty fun. Um, it was okay. I, I don't know. These mods are always exactly the same, aren't they? So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and tell me another mod to play that's probably not just this simple. You know, maybe a mod that actually adds something new in our focus tree, yeah? Uh, okay, maybe not.